So G is twice differentiable. That clue shows up a lot, but I don't use it very often. This clue is really important. G prime is greater than zero. So G prime is positive. So I know right now that G is increasing. It's always better to write things down than to just keep thinking. Also, G double prime is positive. So G is concave up. Uh, when I see that G is concave up, I'm reminded of this statement, which is on the very bottom of the back side of the golden notes. We know that since G is concave up, G prime is increasing. That means if we were to look at a picture of G, so as best I can tell, G is increasing and concave up. So if I had a picture of G, and I followed the curve G, as I move along the curve, I'm going to see a tangent and another tangent and another tangent slope. And as I look at the slope of the tangents from tangent to tangent to tangent, I'm going to observe that the values of the slopes of these tangents will increase as I go across the curve. The same thing is true if I were to look at secant slopes. So if I went from one secant to another across the curve, I would see the values of these secant slopes going up. That's what this little statement on the back of the golden notes at the bottom is saying. So when I see that G is concave up, I'm thinking of this. They tell me G of 4, so perhaps this point, is at 4, 12. And then the next point they tell me about is 5, 18. Then they ask, what could be a value of G uh, when X is 6? Well, G can't, like G of 6 cannot be 15. This point is already Y equal 18. That would cause G to be going up and then go back down, which can't be true if G is going to be concave up and increasing. 18 doesn't work because that would make G go up and then flatten out at 18. G has to be increasing. 21. Uh, here's the problem. From this point to this point, the secant slope, so this slope right here, that secant slope is going to be 6 divided by 1. Change in y is 6. Change in x is 1. So that secant slope is 6. Because g is concave up, if I go from one secant to another, I have to observe an increase from one secant slope to another. If the y-coordinate right here is 21, I would have a secant slope that was going up by 3, and then the x-coordinate would be going up by 1, uh, but that doesn't work because that would make this secant slope 6, and this secant slope 3. Same problem with 24. Let's change color. Um, that would give me a secant slope where the y coordinate were changing from 18 to 24. The x coordinates would still change by 1. That would give me a secant slope of 6. If this secant slope is 6 and this secant slope is also 6, the curve would not be, G would not be concave up because the secants have to increase. If the point here has a y coordinate of 27, everything works. So this is a rare occasion where you do have to look at the answers in order to solve the problem. Normally I don't think that's very smart. It's better to just solve the problem. But in this case, I did have to check the answers one by one until I found the correct answer.